Peg Marar is a talented, versatile artist. She specializes in any of a half a dozen things, from sculpting to weaving. Peg is a serious artist who isn't too serious. She might be finishing some beautiful piece of work and suddenly say, let me borrow your face. Seconds later, you're covered with Vaseline, towels, and then plaster. Some people say it makes them feel like they're a thousand miles away and real peaceful and quiet. And other people say that it's kind of spooky and they don't like it. I didn't it is a strange feeling. She's making a life mask. The method is old. What happens later is new. But gosh, I can remember looking in my history books when I was a kid and seeing death masks of Caesar or somebody like that. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was so neat back then. I thought it was beautiful. And of course, I had no idea how they did it. But that's what started me. All I've got all I can put on, on. Now it has to set up for about four or five minutes. And then it'll just pop off. Mm -hmm. While I dry, Peg can explain. When I first started doing it, I was just doing faces. I found a face that I thought was pretty or handsome, and I just asked them if I knew if I could cast their face. And from there, I take them and make a wall hanging just as a piece of art. And then uh, people started saying, well, I'd like to have one of myself. And that's how it evolved into doing the portraits. When it's ready, she lifts the plaster off, you relax, and she goes to work. Okay. Clay is forced into the cast, and then later she'll work the clay into a unique style of wall plaque. Unique is really a poor word, because Peg Marar puts a lot of almost magic into her work. Self-satisfaction. <laughs> I do artwork because it makes me happy. And if I don't do it, I'm not happy. You meet a lot of nice faces doing this? Yeah. <laughs> Some nice pieces. Sculpting, pottery, wood, spinning. Just some of the many faces of Peg Marar. Way up in the hills in North Carolina. This is Andy Johnston.